Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, pretty busy over here. You know, a lot of a lot of things to get into, so. You don't sound busy. Yeah, well, I am. Okay. I have a very interesting life, so. Oh, well, you know your mama loves you. <sighs> I love you too, mama. Uh, probably going, uh, find a recipe, uh, watch a couple shows, cook a turkey, I don't know. By yourself? I mean, I, uh, they got the neighbors. The neighbors are pretty nice. Alright, well, I'll let you get to it now. Alright, mama. Hi, welcome to Food Network Quarantine Holidays Live. I'm your host, Alton Brown. We've got a packed list of Food Network TV stars that we're going to be going around interviewing and seeing what they're up to to bring their holiday dishes to life this holiday season. Let's check in with Guy Fieri. How's it going, everybody? I know things are looking a little different here in Flavortown, okay? You got the new background, got the new studio, got the new hair. <laughs> but seriously, don't talk about my hair or facial because I'm very insecure about that. All right, let's go! Let's see what Sandra is up to. Hi, everybody. It's your friend, Sandra Lee, from Semi Homemade with Sandra Lee. Now... Even though the holidays might be a little different this year, it doesn't mean you can't have a beautiful night to remember. Today we'll be working on a tablescape that would rival a party of 18 or a party of more. All right, let's pop in on Dan. Hey, uh, my name's Dan. Welcome back to my show, Dan Show. Uh, today we're going to be finishing up the Dan special that we started last week. Got the loot cream, sharp cheddar cheese, and the reeky cold butter. We're gonna take all this, make sure the butter's on top. Just give that a minute. Back to you again, Guy Fieri. Hey, thanks, Alton. Hey, quick map mo before going on. Just got off the phone with a doctor. He said that because of my blood type and clogged arteries that I can no longer eat grease, meat, or spices that go along with that. That means that Flavor Town will be taking a quick pause. <laughs> How about you, Sandra? Thanks, Alton. The first thing we're going to do for our tablescape is rob the kindergartner who lives next door. Look what I did. Isn't it amazing? I tried to see if he had a menorah for Chanaka, but he apparently goes to a Catholic school, so it is what it is. <laughs> but this would look amazing on your tablescape. So I know what you might be thinking. Why do you need a tablescape? I mean, you're just by yourself. But you know, you still matter. Sure. Your boyfriend may have been at a Billy Joel concert while you were in cancer treatment. But does that matter? No. You're a strong, beautiful woman with a tablescape. And you know, so what? That he left you because he was getting too busy with his job. You know, you were de facto first lady of New York. But now you're de facto first lady of the food network. I might have gotten rid of my estate upstate New York, but I'll tell you what, I won't get rid of my Manhattan apartment. <coughs> Do you hear me, Andrew? This isn't COVID talking. <coughs> it's 
It's too much wine. Let me tell you something. You can't chase me out of anywhere. Do you hear me? Do you hear me, Andrew? I ain't the only one having a bad holiday. Let's see what Dan's doing. All right, thanks. This is a big step. While we're waiting for the cheese to marinate, you want to make sure that the cheese you have is like a family size. Because when, you know, say you're dating some wife, ex-wife of somebody, say it's some random person, could be anybody, Jeff, I don't know, and they're coming over, you want to make sure that you have plenty of food, okay? Because they've been in a bad marriage, you know? They've been with some loser, some, some moron, some idiot, you know? Piece of shit guy named Jeff, or any name. I want to give them what they deserve, especially when Jeff's ex-wife is just awesome. Jeff. Back to Guy again. Really? That's serious? Well, how much longer? Is he okay? No, yeah, no, I understand. I am taking this seriously. Now to Sandra. Do you know what the best part of Christmas is? Vodka. <laughs> oh, God. This stuff is awful. Ugh. I don't know how Martha Stewart does it. So listen, everybody. Just because you're by yourself doesn't mean you can't have a great holiday. Do you hear me? I'm talking to you, Jeff. Yeah. 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 One second, I have to take this call. Oh, hey, Alton. It's Susan. Thank you so much for taking my call. I'm a longtime fan. Love the show. Oh, it would have been so perfect for me like a year ago when I was single. Now I'm happily taken by, oh, I think you know him, Dan. He's on the show. My hot, hot, steamy lover. Ooh, Dan, it gets me so excited to see you on the show. Hey, let me talk to Dan, okay, Alton? Okay. Oh, hey, Dan. Uh, there she is. There's my woman. There's my baby, Susan. Hi. Oh, you look so good on the show. You're my chop, chop, baby. You know, my heart was chopped in a million pieces until you came along and made it whole, Dan. Ooh. Can't wait to see you again. You could do parkour all over my body. Okay, bye bye for now. God, you're so awesome. I mean, if I was your husband, I would never leave you. Only a stupid idiot, dumb, stupid idiot would do that. Oh, right, uh, I forgot to make the meal, so we're done. See you. Susan, coming for you. <laughs> Oh, why? Oh, my mama told me about you. Why, Black Santa, why? Oh!